Let's now consider an RLC circuit where we have a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in series with an AC generator. Now, of course, if it's an AC generator, the current varies all the time, but let's assume that we draw it in this direction just for the sake of drawing a current. In that case, we have VR like this, VL like this, and VC like this. And if we write the loop law, we find that V of T is equal to VR plus VL plus VC. But if you remember, previously we related VL and VC to current through the inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance. And we said that the capacitive reactance Xc is 1 over C omega, and the inductive reactance Xl is omega L, or L omega, whatever. Now, this is interesting because we mentioned it before, Xc and Xl are functions of omega, but we didn't do anything more than that. Now, here, what it means is that if omega gets very small, if omega goes to zero, then Xc goes to plus infinity. And that implies no current. Actually, it implies no current coming into C, but because everything's in series, it means no current in the circuit. And here, if we have omega goes to infinity, then Xl goes to infinity. And that also means no current. So we can't just pick any angular frequency we want here on the AC generator. We have to pick a value that isn't too small or isn't too big. Otherwise, there isn't much that's going to be happening in the circuit. So that's just um, to be remembered later on because um, it means, first of all, that there's going to be an interval of omegas that are going to work well and then other values that don't. But we'll get back to that when we talk about resonance. For now, we want to combine these two effects of Xc and Xl and define the um, reactance of the RLC circuit. And we're going to find that as Xc minus Xl. And then the impedance, Z, of the RLC circuit is going to be square root of R squared plus R RLC squared. And that is the impedance. And it's an ohm. And why is that an interesting quantity? Well, that's because the impedance relates V of t to I of t. We can write V of t is equal to Z RLC times I of t. And that's a very nice and condensed way of relating voltage to current. But to define this relationship, we need the impedance, which is itself defined as square root of R, squ R squared plus R RLC squared where R RLC is the um, reactance of the RLC circuit. So this we'll come back to, and then specifically we'll come back to the fact that Z here is a function of the angular frequency omega that drives the AC generator. So if we have V naught sine omega t for V of t, for example, omega tells you what Z RLC is, because Xc and Xl are functions of omega.